Hey everybody, my name is Tim Coates. I am the Product Development Manager here at Ethos Car Care. So it is my job to help develop, formulate, and educate each one of our products for you guys to make the best experience possible. So one of the biggest comments I've seen recently, especially in the car care industry as a whole, is people are talking about uh, silica dioxide, better known as SiO2, and the percentage of that product or that chemical on each product uh, as an ingredient. And people are comparing one product to the other in form of SiO2 concentrations. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about that, um, whether it matters and what really does matter when looking for products, car care products out there. So, um, for example, you know, our ceramic products, a lot of them we don't tell exactly what SAO2 percentage is in each, not because we want to be misleading, but because it's fairly irrelevant. And I'll explain why. Um, SAO2, so silica dioxide is a very commonly used product in the ceramic realm. So silica on its own, um, it's a very common occurring mineral. It's found on all the beaches. It's basically sand. It's, it's a ceramic form that's very common in most of the car care products. It's the kind of solvency you'll find in any water soluble ceramic product. So and we're not talking actual solvent based uh, ceramic coatings. We're talking about ceramic detail sprays and ceramic waxes for the most part, ceramic, uh, polishes, sprays, all that stuff is a silica based product. And I've seen a lot of people commenting saying that, or asking what percentage of SAO2 is in each product. And that is a little bit misleading. That's not a very good metric to use to determine whether the product is well performing or an inferior performing product. Um, the reason for that being is that, for example, I've seen a product out there claiming that they're 90% SAO2 which is physically impossible. If you had a product that was 90% SAO to you, it'd be a, a brick of glass. So when we're going about making a product, we're using um, different forms of chemicals in a solvency. So our ceramic coating, for example, is not glass or silica dioxide um, in a bottle. It has solvents that you use to apply the product so they can lay out on the surface and evaporate away and leave the ceramic behind. So if you have a product that's 90% SAO2, it would not, there'd be no room for solvency in there. There'd be no room to apply that in a, in a base layer and, and be easy to use. So comparing a product, let's say a ceramic shampoo, that's 5% SAO2 as claimed versus 10%. Um, that's not really telling the whole story of the product performance. For example, our ceramic shampoo, we don't claim uh, silica dioxide or SAO2 percentage of our ceramic shampoo because there's not much reason to. We fine tune this formulation over many, many iterations to find the perfect, perfect balance of a soap, conditioner, and cleaner for ceramic coatings. So if we added more ceramic to this product, actually would make it worse performing. It would, it would be an inferior product. So comparing a product A to product B uh, and the differences between each based on a silica dioxide ratio or, or percentage, it's not a good way to go about things. It doesn't mean that one product is lesser or better than the other. Um, so anyways, guys, I just wanna talk a little bit about that because I kept seeing it pop up here in the forums, and especially on YouTube and throughout. Um, would love to discuss this further with you guys too. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to comment below. And I look forward to talking to you guys next time on this series. I'll see you guys soon.